from an airplane at an altitude height of 1,200 meters, the angle of depression to a rock on the ground measures 28 degrees. Find the distance from the plane to the rock. So, illustrate mo na natin yung problem. So, an airplane, so yung altitude daw niya uh, to the ground is 1,200 meters. Then, the angle of depression to a rock on the ground measures 28 degrees. So, ito yung daw yung rock, nasa ground siya, and ito yung horizontal line, then yung angle of depression is 28 degrees. Ngayon, yung pinapahanap is, find the distance from the plane to the rock. So, ibig sabihin niyan, itong plane na ito, gaano daw siya kalayo dito sa rock na ito. So, um, makakabuo na tayo ng ano dito, no? um, right triangle. So, ito yung part na hinahanap natin, yung hypotenuse. Okay? Tapos, ito, um, by alternate interior angle, kung yung angle of depression natin is 28 degrees, yung magiging angle nito is 28 degrees din. Di ba? Alternate interior angle are congruent. So, pwede natin apply dito yung um, sine. Or pwede rin naman yung cosine kung uh, mahanap nyo yung um, angle dito. So, pwede nyo yung apply yung cosine. So, alam natin na complementary itong dalawang angles na ito, di ba? So, this is 62 degrees. So, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung cosine 62 degrees. So, in this example, gagamitin ko um, si sine. So, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Then, substitute natin mga given values. So, sine 28 degrees equals 1,200 over x. So, si theta, papalitan natin 28 degrees since 28 degrees to. And then, yung opposite side dito sa angle dito is 1,200. Kaya, naging 1,200 yun. And yung hypotenuse natin is x, which is yung hinahanap natin. And then, um, we will multiply both sides of the equation by x para matanggal si x dito sa right side or matanggal siya dito sa denominator. So, we multiply both sides of the equation by x, kaya siya naging ganyan. x sine 28 degrees equals 1,200. Na-cancel na dito. And then, uh, we will divide both sides of the equation by sine 28 para matanggal itong sine na ito. So, magiging siyang ganyan x equals 1,200 over sine 28 degrees. So, divide tayo ng sine 28 yan, both side. So, cancel ito. Okay, and then, sa, pindutin nyo sa calculator nyo yung sine 28, makuha natin is 0 0.4695. Then, 1,200 divided by 0 0.4695, that is 2,555.5 91 meters. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung layo ng airplano dun sa bato ay 2,555.91 meters. Next problem, a hot air balloon is flying at a height of 4 kilometers above the ground. The distance along the ground from the hot air balloon to a house is 6 kilometers. What is the angle of depression from the hot air balloon to the house? So, dito sa problem na ito, pinapahanap niya yung angle. So, kanina, yung mga previous example natin, di ba? Uh, yung pinapahanap is yung mga sides. Ngayon naman, angle. So, illustrate natin itong problem na ito. So, meron tayong hot air balloon, 4 kilometers um, above the ground daw siya. And, um, the distance along the ground from the hot air balloon, so, itong part na ito ng ground, ay 6 kilometers away daw siya dun sa bahay. And then, what's the angle of depression from the hot air balloon to the house? So, ayan, nakabuo tayo ng right triangle. Ngayon, yung hinanap dito yung angle of depression. So, ito yung hanapin nating angle. And since alam natin na alternate interior angle are congruent kapag, ano, diba, um, dun sa parallel lines cut by a transversal. Parang parallel line kasi ito. Tapos, ito yung transversal line. So, kung anong measure nun, ito na measure nito. So, pwede nga apply natin um, trigonometric ratio dito is yung tangent. Since, given yung side na opposite dito, 4 kilometers, and yung adjacent side na 6 kilometers. So, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. And then, substitute, tangent theta equals 4 over 6. Opposite side, 4. Adjacent side is 
6. And then, kailangan natin i-isolate si theta kasi ito yung hinahanap natin. Ito. So, tanggalin natin si tangent sa left side. So, lilipat natin siya, siya sa right side. So, magiging, magiging siyang ano ngayon, arc sine. So, iyan yung inverse nung tangent. I, I mean, arc tangent. Okay? This is arc tangent, inverse siya ng tangent. So, magiging siyang theta equals arc tangent 4 over 6. So, ito yung ano natin. Arc. Ibig sabihin yung arc tangent. Yung inverse nung tangent. So, minsan, nilalagay lang nila arc tan. So, dito sa example natin, nilalagay lang natin ng tangent tapos nakarish siya sa negative 1. And then, divide natin 4 over 6. That is 0.667. And then, using your calculator, i-press hold nyo itong uh, tangent. Tapos, lalabas si A tan. Tapos, pindutin nyo lang si 0.6667, then lalabas na si 33.69 degrees. So, ito daw itong, itong angle na ito is 33.69 degrees. Kung 33.69 degrees ito, 33.69 uh, degrees din itong angle na ito. So, yan na yun. Nasagot na natin yung tinatanong dito na ano yung angle of depression. And next... A 14-foot ladder is used to scale a 13-foot wall. At what angle of elevation must the ladder be situated in order to reach the top of the wall? So, mayroon tayong 14-foot ladder at 13-foot wall. So, drawing muna natin yung 13-foot wall. Yan. So, 13-foot daw yan. And mayroon tayong ladder na nakapatong dyan. So, sabi niya kasi, uh, is used to scale. Tapos, yan, um, yung ladder down is 14-foot. Yan, 14 foot, then makakabuna tayo na right triangle dyan. Yung papahanap ngayon sa atin, ano yung angle of elevation? Itong ladder. So, ito yung hahanapin natin. So, yung apply natin dito is, itong sign. Kasi, given yung opposite, opposite side dyan sa angle na yan, 13 at saka yung hypotenuse na 14. So, palitan natin 13 over 14. Isolate natin si theta sa left side. Lipat natin si sign sa right side. So, magiging siyang Theta equals arc sine 13 over 14. And then, 13 over 14, that's 0.9286. 13 divided by 14, 0.9286. And then, using your calculator, press hold nyo si sine, lalabas si A sine or arc sine. And then, pindutin nyo lang yung 0.9286. So, makuha nyo na si 68.22 degrees. So, ibig sabihin niyan yung angle dito ay 68.22 degrees.